Welcome, and this is Mob TV. My name is Donald, and I have a very spectacular human being here today. Somebody I watched as a child. Growing up, I looked at him, and I was like, one day, I'm actually going to be this famous. He is no other person, but I, we have an uncle-brother relationship. He's somebody who sees you on the first day and absorbs you totally very easygoing very loving and a great personality at that and thank you so much sir for coming around <laughs> i really do appreciate you this is um he is the sa to the president of the agn and um veteran actor Nalawood. thank you sir so sir i in what way would you best describe yourself we have different perspective of who you are but how do you see yourself well, how do I see myself? Uh, how best do I describe myself? I think the best way I can describe myself is that I, I am a mole, I mean, I'm a pencil in the hand of God, being sharpened for a purpose. Wow. Yes. Pencil in the hand of God, being sharpened for a purpose. Okay. Um, that brings us to AGN, okay. Actors Guild of Nigeria. There was so much tantrums and um, settling in the guild. And when you people assumed office, it's as though there is this calmness and there is progress. So I would like to know, what is the progress of AGN? All right, beautiful. You know, AGN started like every normal professional association when people come together and say look we need to do this protect our industry guide ourselves fight for one another and then take the industry to a professional level or the, you know what they call a uh, next level mm -hmm. and then we started with the name nigerian actors gate then we are called nag yes i had an or just one office in Lagos. And but when things now started growing, we changed to Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN. Like every, you know, uh, every organization, at the beginning, there was so much crisis, leadership crisis. And because leadership, we have a lot of leadership crisis, we had no focus, no direction, nothing. But uh, a time shall come in the life of a man that he will be properly directed. Yes. And when that time came, God gave us a young man, Emeka Rolat, who is the present president of the guild. And he came with a great vision, a great understanding of the problem with solution to some of the problems. And um, the first thing was bringing everybody together, but the big stars, the upcoming, and everybody coming together to realize that this is our own. You understand? Yes. And then, secondly, he tried to, you know, to make you understand that as an actor, you are a special species within the society. Mm. And we start looking towards that and we start getting involved in most of the things that actors do across the world. And by the special grace of God, today we are even uh, affiliated to the Federation of, International Federation of Artists. We are the actors of all the worlds okay. are gathered. The Actors Guild of Nigeria is part of this system. So, and um, we have uh, an understanding with the British equity, have understanding with different international groups. Yes, and then we are moving forward. So we now have a direction, we now have respect for the actor, we now have, uh, do I call it government involvement or, uh, because uh, sure. like presently I am the ex ex to Mr. President on military and intergovernment affairs. So every government agency, we can now liaise with them. We liaise with the military and other security agencies. So we are now 
on the right path. Okay, in that regard, where you are the SA to, on the military matters or um, security affairs, yes. um, we know that actors are, uh, what would I say, they are special breeds of people and they are public figures, so to say. And there is some little kind of recognition given to them by both security people and every other person because they are known people. Um, and we see, but this one, basically we saw Chiwente Lagos case, we saw um, Boju, but though a music artist, which is still a part of Nollywood, so to say. Um, what have you people done in that regard where recognized people, people that are on the screen, will be given and treated with some level of care, not being dragged and disgraced like every other person or a common criminal? Oh, well, um, well, let me give you an instance with the Chiwete Lago case. I was part of the people that solved the problem. One, what was actually the cause of the problem? Do I, because I'm an actor or a public figure, do certain things that is against the law? Okay. Or do I, because I'm an actor, drive against uh, rule regulations? So most times, we do things believing because we are known. We should we get can, away with yes. it. Yes. And um, the game don't support that. Okay, for clarity's sake, on Chiu and Telago's issues, him wearing the flag or the color or dressed in a, in a Biafran flag, is it really against the law? Or is it that the military frowned at that appearance? Is it that he failed the law at that point? Or it was just a mere, okay, this is a threat to the security of the nation. They, flat, they frowned at it and treated him that way. So we will be able to understand that. Is a, is, is a case that is already sorted out, yes. both from the army Military. and from the DSS. Yes. I actually was the one who went to Belhim from the army in Enugu. And when he was transferred to DXS in Abuja, I finally came to Abuja with our director of media, Mola Lisa Chinda. Uh, the case of Chiwetelago is not about what he was wearing. It's about actually the particular place he stood to share his, you know, he bought what I was sharing. That particular place at that particular time was a threat. Okay. The timing. Yes. Okay. And the place okay. of Paiweka. Not that the costume is against. That costume he was wearing, then he has worn it for about two months and there was no harassment. Oh. But that particular place at that particular time was security risks to that particular environment. Environment. And when he was approached, come, no, 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 you know, some, you know, uh, comments and everything and generated whatever. But we now read it because he was wearing that particular cloth. Uh, well, to me, according to the explanation I got from the army and the SS, no. But where he was, For the time he was there, and the, the, how that, what that place is known for was not very conducive to the security agencies. At that moment? Yes. Okay, so he, that he was not actually arrested initially. He was to be cautioned. But one thing led to the other and that led to that arrest. Okay, so guys, you know that what his costume because it was it a lot of people said on the internet that because he wore bear from flag that was the reason he was humiliated and disgraced the, get it right now it's not about what you're wearing it's not about the color of the costume he's worn it for two months but the particular thing is the happening and um the the place the location and what it represented at that moment was actually the issue okay so that takes us to um so are now are there reconciliations whereby you said the actor should not misbehave because he is an actor. But in the other side of it, when the actor is not misbehaving, has there been any interference? Maybe your ID card shows you, okay, you are identified by this. Have you people been able to make that interface with the Yes, we've done a lot. One, uh, the president has visited a lot. We visited even the uh, the Nigerian Law Drug uh, Agency, uh, through General Marwa. Okay. We had an understanding with them. 
we don't encourage our people to go smoking. Yeah. And when you are caught, you know, doing drug, yeah. we act us to discipline you. If you are arrested, we don't come to bail you because it's against the law. That is what. So the actor, not because you're an actor and then you start smoking. We actors have laws against that. That is when you go into drug, it's against our law. That is what. So, but if they just want to harass you, where you look like because you have dreadlock or something, yes. and they try to harass you, we now come in and say no. You get it. We probably have understanding with the Nigerian police. We probably we visited the police headquarters, have a serious meeting with their public relations department. And um, in fact, today again, we'll be visiting the IG to conclude our discussion. When the police don't want you to misuse their uniform, mm. if it's a rank of sergeant, don't go and misrepresent it. All of us watch foreign films. They don't, act, you know, kind of putting the wrong thing. And the using it for the wrong function. Yes. But the police then give us the assurance. If you want to represent the police, mm -hmm. write officially to us. We will assist you with all the things you want. Uh, even orientation. Yes. On how to uh, use. Yes. yes. I shot a film for the Nigerian Army. The actors gave shot a film for the Nigerian Army. Actually produced Operation Last Dance. You won't believe that it was shot in Nigeria. Every rank was properly presented. presented. And we have, we had soldiers, officers at every point of shoot directed us. So it was a professionally well done job. We soon release it. And we have that understanding with the army. If I want the rank of a brigadier general, I cannot go for a major general's rank. You understand yes. the point? And the mannerism of a major general, or that I should wear it and do everything. When I was shooting the Operation Last Dance, I had a place that the chief of army staff was supposed to appear. And we were just doing something, and somebody snapped a picture and sent out. I had a call from the army headquarters. Actually, I was shooting in Jaji. Mm. I had the call that that uniform, that rank, is it, not representing the coerce, the, the chief of army staff. Mm. You understand? Yeah. That was instantly, because they monitor all these things. Mm. We didn't know. And I, that I should talk to the officer in charge of, and I, officer, this, this man is chief of He said, no, this is not. He now condemned it, and we now got the right. We have right. to wait to get the right thing. That is what the army wants. We are not saying, don't play army, don't do this, don't do it, but represent us properly. appropriately. Yes. So, so that, that people, because movies is in a way also to give orientation yes. to people. Yes, if you watch the Americans, they use actors to do whatever they want to do. In, in the American army, they have the acting department where they liaise with the actors or the filmmakers on daily basis per script. That is why we can never see American soldiers defeated anywhere. Anywhere in the world. <laughs> so we have this understanding with the army and other groups. So we are working to have a perfect relationship with them, not encouraging our people to insult them. them or to go against the law. So it, it will be a husband and wife relationship Beautiful. where these people are respected and at the same time these people are respected. That is just it. That's great, sir. To your person, sir, you know, um, on a lighter note, there was a time people are saying that you've grown, you don't want to get married, and when you now got married, it was more like a surprise to people. Or people did not know that you were married. And they were saying, okay, uh, you know. So we want to know, how is your wife, your family, because acting is a very tedious job, time consuming, so to say. How do you reconcile these two? And marriage needs attention too. Well, a lot of people don't even think I'm not married. Because they go to social media to search, to search for my family, they will see them okay. there. Yeah. Um, why my family is different from what I do, because my wife have, have probably do something. Yes. What she does, is not on social media, so what I, whatever I do, they, um, my family should not be there. 
And then I tell that my children have their own uh, social media handles, handles, but you can never identify, link them, link to, them to me. So I'm happily married, beautiful children, wonderful wife. And how do, we, how do I manage acting on this thing? The Bible says there is time for everything. There's time for the family, which is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Because if you're happy from your family, you can be a very wonderful actor. If you have family problem, you don't act well. That is it. So I have this um, time for my family, yes. And um, whenever I'm not around, I try to communicate. I give my children access to talk to me at any time of the day or the night when I'm not with them. They have access to me. And I can never see their call and not answer. But now that I'm on, like, if I'm on set and they call, because I'm not with my phone, once I come out, I return the call. That is the relationship. Will they know that there is a father? That is accessible. This is, yes, that is it. That's great. So um, it was on the news, like a few weeks, months ago. A like, few weeks ago, you were attacked by the unknown gunmen. And graciously, you're alive. A lot of people pass through that journey and they do not make it. But as God may have it, you're here with me live and direct. So what was the experience like? How did it happen? Uh, well, actually, it actually happened in my own family house in my village. A lot of people did not like you for whatever. I, not, I was not just attacked, my family was attacked. My siblings, my family house was destroyed by my family members who sent unknown and men for this. And when I got to the point when I was called, I rushed down to I was then I rushed down to my village. On getting there, I now went, the men we are already gone. I now went to the people that sent them. I said, why do you have to do this? I didn't know they had different plans for me. Yes, and I uh, had a, my skull broken and everything. I thank God I survived, took time, went to the hospital, and we finished everything. I reported to the police. I sent a petition to the IG. Actors Guild sent the petition to the IG. IG now referred the petition to IRT. Who went to my village to arrest? They did some arrests to bring them back to Abuja. But they, they released them, in, they released them too. After some days, they released the boys that were sent from Abuja, released them. Wow. Yeah, yes. And for now, I can tell you, going to my village is not possible. I can't go. Because the people they are still there, them. yes. Now, the leadership of my village are not even interested in all these things. Because everybody don't even know who this man is. He doesn't. I go to my village in every meeting. I attend the meeting. When people are supposed to say no to something that deserves to be said no to, I say no to it. And not because you are a leader in the village, you want everyone to say yes and follow you. No, at this level, I cannot say that. And because you think this guy is bold, he should be eliminated. Yes. And so the village did not even try to come into the situation to ask what happened. They allowed to attack my siblings. My siblings cannot even go to the village now. You guys are deserted? Yes. But if you go to my village, it's just that way. Can the traditional ruler, the PG, nobody has cared to go into it. And I look at them and I laugh. Now we start taking action that is legal. And then the police, they are trying not to help you. Do I have made a report against the officer, a second report, waiting for the result. But I feel so disappointed in the that action. That they were even released yes, in the first place. Yes, yes, so disappointed. And I can tell you, I wouldn't know, maybe whatever, whatever. Yes, yeah, because they were supposed to come to Abuja with them for us to talk. And I still have some threat uh, messages. messages in my phone. I should tell the police. Please went to my house and saw what they did. What they did. 
and you release them. Oh man, it's unfortunate. Very Very highly unfortunate. Highly unfortunate. For the clarity, where is your village? Well, I'm from a very wonderful place they call Achi, Nojiriva, local government area of Enugu State. Yes. Oh. About the state of the nation, we're in a particular phase of our, nations, of our nation where we are trying to decide who will lead this country for the next four years, who will drive this country further and forward. And what do you make out of it? <laughs> well, yeah, this is a very beautiful question for us. And I look at Nigeria presently, Nigeria of today, as if some people will tell you that nothing is working. Some will say, no, something is working. And we, have, we are at the point of accepting the abnormality for the normal. You understand? Now, the situation is people do a lot of things, ah, well, maybe Nigeria. I'll just give you an instance where police made arrests, a case of terrorism and threat to life and uh, murder. murder and release, release them, them without any, any explanation whatsoever. And they tell you, say, well, it's Nigeria, we don't need to do this or that. That's Nigeria for you. But what, at this point in time, we've come to a situation where things are turning the other way. And we have people who have volunteered to lead this country through the next election. First, you have to look at them individually and see what can, have they, what can they offer or what are they telling you they want to offer you. Mm -hmm. And when you look at what they are, when you hear what they are telling you, you think, I say, is this the right way for me to go? A lot of people are following certain people because you see this is the trend. Just like the musical wave, when you yeah. really don't need to follow it. A lot are following people because well, I have to follow it from my place. A lot are following people. Oh, this man go down, bring money. You. A lot of people don't actually have reason for who they are it. supporting. Yes, they have reasons: tribe, religion. Sentiment. The, the sentiment, what I'm getting, oh, I like this man and all these things. Oh, people are following him, let me follow let me him. Follow. But I think this way, if I am going to vote for anybody, I think I need to vote for myself first. What do I want for my children, even myself? I am an, in, in an industry that is not recognized in this country unless when government officials want to promote their whatever. act or whatever they say the, the Nollywood this or GDP or so, 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 so thing. but properly certain things the way it should be no they are not and another thing if among these leading characters that is trying to you know drive this country to the next level who is even going to listen to me or even understand the essence of my profession. Of your profession. I've suffered so much in this country. Insecurity, unemployment, everything. Do I want my children to go through the same way? If not, who among these people is going to stabilize the, the economy, economy of this country? Who among these people is going to stabilize the security of this country? Who among these people is going to give us an environment that you can be happy and free from so many thinkings? The first stanza of our former national anthem say, though tribe and tongue may differ, differ. in brotherhood we stand. we stand. Who among these people is going to bring back this brotherhood? By the time you look at these things, you can now know how to go. And I've listened to all of them before now, and I'm still listening to them now. And fortunately, from my own side, I have, apart from one or one of them, I have had personal interaction with all the major presidential candidates in this country. One on one interactions with them. So I can tell you 
this person or that person. So what am I trying to say? If you don't get it right this time around, we will journey like the Israelites in Egypt for decades. If you don't get it right, God is giving us an opportunity to get it right. And if you don't get it right, <sighs> I pity the, the country called Nigeria. So I won't tell you I'm supporting this person or I'm supporting this person, but I'm listening to the voice of reasoning within these people and where they're heading to. It is not because it's this person's turn or this person's turn or this person's turn or whatever. It is because this is what I can offer. So I am praying, praying, I like or the people of Nigeria to make sure that we have the four or five major presidential aspirants or candidates to a debate that we can even ask questions. The Actors Guild is having their uh, 2022 summit. We are trying to invite them to come and talk to us. Mm -hmm. And I pray they accept this invitation, talk to us. Let's even ask them questions. Where, what is our fate? Where, is, where are we headed? Where are we going to? Where are we heading to? What is Nigeria in the next 20 years? What is Nigeria in the rest of the world? Who's her position in the world? in these few years coming. These are your concerns that you've mentioned and listed. They are beautiful, fantastic concerns. And I think a lot of Nigerians resonate with this. Admit these five, four candidates. Have you seen any person that fits into this concern. They are trying to push me into saying something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying mention names. I don't, I, yeah, of course. Have you seen anybody? Yeah, of course, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about life. A lot of people talk so beautifully in every aspect of life. In every chapter you open, they go by it. When we are in school, we know students who speak wonderful English. English. But exams always fail English. Yes, definitely. You understand? We see some who does, who cannot even make a straight, forward, a straight line Sentence. statement. But they pass English. Mm. So we have seen, we have heard what people are saying, what they are dishing out. Mm -hmm. But we have not seen them executed. At governorship level or vice presidential level or this, but at the level of presidency of this country. So You've not seen if, such competence and capacity? No, I no, have seen. Every person that came out to vie qualifies to lead this country. country. But at what point or with what? A day? Yes. Because it's just not leading Nigeria, okay, you sit in the office, I'm, you must work it out. Mm. I have seen one or two of them coming out with positive things, very positive things. And one thing, one advantage to some people now is that we have one thing that is around a called telephone mm -hmm. that has given us, that has exposed us to the world, mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. and the campaign, or what I call sensitization, mm -hmm. comes a lot with that. Mm -hmm. But Nigerians are trying to tell you, oh no, social media doesn't matter. It matters a and lot. What? That was what gave credence to SARS. Yes. SARS wouldn't have happened in 1999. It wouldn't. Buhari wouldn't have been president in 1999. But he could have been, but then, Social media has power. has power because now the youths have embraced social media. I have people with me, they will be on phone till late in the night. Don't ever tell them to drop the phone. Don't. Otherwise, they will 
You understand the point. Yes. And they read certain things and they understand certain things and they goggle to know what is happening in other parts of the world. The world. So our youths uh, are now aware. exposed highly, highly to political information, things, information across the world. Globe. So it's going to play a major role in this time. In this time around. The youth are so sensitive because they have suffered. My brother, as you have been on strike for almost seven months, no, going for a year. Yeah, sure. So a lot of people have mixed their way. A, a, a particular lecturer traveled, left Nigeria, okay. and told them, hey, students, I'll meet you in the future. But for now, I've moved. That is the point. So what social media? Don't forget that these students that are in the house, they are occupied with what? Their phone. phone. Reading. They know what's happening. They know what's happening. So no matter how much money you spend, social media is going to play a major role. Mm. And I've had some people talk, particularly the spokespersons of some parties. Mm -hmm. And you sit and you laugh at them. They make mockery of this country. There are certain things, I don't want to, there are certain people that cannot be talking in public in this country now about things. Right. Because they, what they say is just so, I mean, so, uh, yesterday, yes. You can't, it's not, it's not a comedy uh, stage mm. where you come to play comedy, where you come to insult people, where you come to talk about yourself, the Af how much you have, or what you have done, or what you have done out of corruption from this country. Mm. So, that social media is still going to kill these people. So, a lot of spokespersons for some of these. Party. Beautiful presidential candidates will demarcate them. Mm. You understand the point? Yes, they will, because they are not going the proper way. There are certain things I read in papers or I listen to news and I say, is this person really saying this? Is he what to have been here or is he what to be here? With his thinking. I'm telling it's you. It's so unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Yes. And people are doing what? Are recording. Keeping, keeping records. Keeping record. Keeping record. And on the day of record, they will now say, Dross, let you talk, come. We have seen people come to tell you so much bad thing about this person. And because of hunger, poverty, or whatever, they now come to try to paint that person to clean. Clean. Forgetting that the social media and the youth Never forget. have stores where they keep those things you say about the person. Yeah. When did this person that was so dark yesterday, at what point did he bleach <laughs> to become this fair? <laughs> this is part of the things they don't understand. Mm. So we are following, we are watching. The oh. actors particularly are being... Um, that, was, that was my okay. next move. My, my next question is uh, actors... Actors Guild of Nigeria. We've seen um, actors who have come out publicly because they've come out publicly, I'll call them out publicly. People like Zach Oji, Emma Labista come out to say they are supporting, they are for the APC and they are garnering people to support um, Bola Tinubu. In that regard, are they representing AGN or are they representing their belly like themselves? Okay. Like I said, my name is T.V. Bo. I happen to be the special assistant to the president of Actors Guild of Nigeria on military and intergovernment affairs. So at great extent, I know what is happening in the Actors Guild of Nigeria or Nollywood generally. One, Actors Guild of Nigeria, which is the collection of all the actors in Nigeria, does not support any particular person or any particular party. We don't. Individually, I respect people's opinion. Like you talked about my own brother, Zach, Labista, or Gentle Jack, Benedict Johnson. I respect their view on Bola Tinubu. It is their personal view. And I don't have any right to contest it. If I don't like what they have said, I can go one-on-one -on -one with them and rather try to convince them to see other yes but to condemn them no there's something probably they've seen that i have not seen 
Uh, but when people say they were paid or they were doing this, I don't think so. They are matured enough to know what is right for them, what is right for their children, what is right for the future of this country. And if they think Bolatinubu is that particular material, I respect their opinion. You understand? Mm. And those who have condemned them, I respect their opinion too. Because they have the right to say, yes, you think this person is fit. I think the person is not Unfit. fit. It's opinions. I have my own opinion. Unless you can talk me into believing, that's conviction, mm -hmm. that you have your own opinion is better than my own opinion based on certain things. Precedents. Yes. Otherwise, the actors lead of Nigeria does not support any political party. We are not partisan. The president of Mecca rulers may support somebody as a Mecca rulers. But to make a general statement for the actors guild of Nigeria, he it's doesn't enough. have the power to do that. A lot of parties have approached me as a person. I will tell you, we are talking to Steve Abel. We are not even talking to my office as a on military and intergovernment affairs to president. You are talking to me and my conviction. You understand the point? Mm -hmm. All right. And um, what about... This is particularly for upcomers. A lot of people, because Nollywood, I argue and make my submissions anywhere, that uh, Nollywood is actually the highest employer of labor in Nigeria and the one that's giving hope to the poor, the uneducated, the unscholastic human being, like those who did not go to the regular academics and they have it's given a platform to a lot of people to see their dream pursue their dream and have a career and become a professional act of nothing yeah so in that regard a lot of people are aspiring because success is smiling at nollywood at the moment the feats achieved and um, how far and wide nollywood is going there are young people who are there in need their desire they have the drive and yearning mm. to be actors actresses and producers, directors, talking about the welfare of actors, what do you have to say? Because we've had stories, both on social media, on personal notes, that these upcomers are not treated well, fairly, justly. We understand that building an industry, a lot of people are going to suffer their own feet. But now that the industry is getting some balance, suffice to say, what about the welfare of the upcomers? Well, 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 that's that we are. I, I love this question very well because this is my area and I can talk very, very authoritatively. But you rightly said, Nollywood has done better than the ministry's government, sure. have done better than churches and mosques, I can tell you. Because a lot of criminals have repented, a lot of people have, even a lot of bankers, a lot of doctors, everybody, Nollywood and they are all helping to build. The of us are helping to build the Hollywood. And when it comes to welfare, a lot of the upcomers don't look at Nollywood as let me go and develop. Let me go and make it. And they add desperation to eat. And um, at times, I, I laugh at them. When you are desperate, you will offer anything to be part of it. Mm -hmm. But those who are coming in to develop, we follow these steps. Because one, I won't tell anybody, because when I came into this industry, I was 1992. I was paid 600 naira to act. But anybody paid anybody 600 naira today is a devil. Big time. You understand? Because mm -hmm. things are moving. But you don't expect me to pay an upcoming, the same thing I'm going to pay, is no matter yes, how sir. what you do. The welfare, first, you have to belong to the actors' lead of Nigeria. Because as an actor, they will protect your interests. When you go on set and anything happens to you, report. But what happens is that most people, because of desperation, don't report. No feedback. 
to the gate. To the gate. Yes, for the gate to take up the They will just go around talking. Yes, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some will come and say they were molested. This, this, this. Report to the gate. We are reporting to another upcoming, upcoming that doesn't have anything to offer. You don't go to social media to say, report to the gate. Because at times when we have this report, we have a very uh, well-established uh, disciplinary committee headed by a veteran, um, Sam Dede. Mm. When you report, we take the case to this disciplinary committee. They invite you, no matter who you are as a producer. Go there and defend yourself. And if you are found wanting, trust um, Sam Dede, the KO case. They are all in this committee. They will deal with you. Because they went through the, the process yes, to become what they are. But people are desperate. You see, it's just like this uh, uh, thing they talk in Nigeria when you abuse it, when you, a lady is raped, mm -hmm. even the family try to say, Don't say it. Don't say it. Scandal, stigma. Scandal, stigma. And the lady goes with that pain that all the days of her that life. That unforgiveness is there. Yes. It pains her. So, same thing in Hollywood. People say, don't talk. Oh, if you talk, they won't give you the next role. Oh, don't talk. Why not say it? When you say it, it makes you popular and people want to give you roles. And people will take, you know, will be careful of what they or do. Because the next person is actually yes, going to say it. Yes. Yeah, I was just discussing with a, 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 a somebody this morning. I was saying that some lecturers do harass them. And they, I said, but you have not made the report. Make a move. They say, ah, other people are involved and all these things. But you could make, make a move first. first. Make a statement. So the welfare of the upcomers is very, very important to the present administration. And it's part of what we are going to discuss in our upcoming um, Actors Summit 2022, which is, taking, which is going to take place in, the, in Benin. We are going to talk about this things. And Thank God, another veteran is heading that summit, uh, 2022, uh, Patrick Doyle. Mm. So we are going to talk about it. Talk to buy public sentiment. So wow. what do you do? That's great. So you've heard, if you want to be an actor, an actress, and... Remove desperation. Remove, take it away. Don't be desperate. Take it away. Wash it away. Wash it, wash it off. Yes. And then just know that you ought to get developed. And there is a guild called Actors Guild of Nigeria. They protect your interest to the latter. Be it rape, molestation, harassment, any form of it. Please log in your complaints and see if they will not take it from there. We need to make things right. We need to um, take away the criminals um, in, the, in the industry and let the right people enjoy the industry. So um, what about, talking about your career, what has been the most challenging point in this journey? <laughs> I felt the most challenging point in this journey is, is, you see, when you say acceptance, people may not understand it properly. Is it people have not accepted the industry or your person? I'll give you an instance. I, I'm from a village or from a town called Achi. Mm. People look at you and say, oh, hey, give me a fin. Uh, do you understand? Yeah. Uh, so we say, oh, okay, okay, consult. They have not really understand that the same person working in the bank, mm -hmm. the same person a politician, the same doctor in that village, medical doctor in that village, the same lawyer in that village, that I have a profession. Yes. They don't see it as a profession. Ooh. They see it as um, well, no, one, no. Mm -hmm. a hobby. Yeah, that, not even, they see it as one of those things. So they, they have not seen me as a professional. When the lawyer builds a house, I thought I have a better house. When the doctor does something, I have a better house. But they still feel mm. that this person, I mean, with the, it's not a serious Yes, story. with the wave of left hand. Do you understand? People have failed to accept us, or yes, let me use me as a pointer, as a professional. The government have not even accepted, accepted. us as professionals, and they have refused to help the industry. Let me tell you something. I was a member of the Ministerial Committee on Nigerian Film and uh, Cultural Review Policy, 2005. 
mm. when Obasanjo was the president. president. And uh, this person was the Minister of Information, the, I, I will remember, set up a committee to review the Nigerian film industry since 2005 till now. Date. We have finished it 2006. It has not seen the light of the day. We have taken it to so many. Let us even go as an executive bill or a, 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 somebody to sponsor the bill. They have not up to this moment. Because it's just... It's not, it's not, you understand? Is the it not entertaining? Yes. So they have that... The government accepted completely in the country. But when they want to do something, oh, bring the actors, bring the actors. Hello, actor, actor. actor. They have not accepted us. They want to praise you. You are to the GDP of this country. You do this. Oh, you will have wonder if you have to. I see many ministers, they come and tell you, look, ah, when I go out of Nigeria, they talk about Hollywood, Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Now, when you come back to Nigeria, you what do you do? Yeah, integration. Fortunately, some of us have traveled out too. We've gone to several countries and we see how people see us. They love us. They accept us. Yeah, they accept us. They even think we are switchers. Their, their own celebrities, yeah. But they have, they, they have working process, working procedure. Where person cannot do this, do this, do that, do that. In Nigeria, the actor is on your on your, your own. own. You understand? When you want to shoot in the airport, you have problem. So you now limit my story to remove airport. Yeah. Because I cannot pay for shoot. it. Yes. Thank God the police and the army are coming up. If you want to do anything about the army or the police, come, we'll give you a list. They are just coming up with it. But the highest challenge is acceptance. We've not been accepted. The government have not given us any help. Mm. The government have taken so much from, from us. Yeah, yeah. Because we censor our films. Yes, you so must censor your films before you release it. So they make money from all from us. But have not accepted. They have not accepted us. They have not. Otherwise, let them make the enabling laws for me to shoot my films. Let them try to create piracy. Sometime I was called, I, I said, like, what do we do to piracy? Give us a tribunal. Set up a tribunal. Yes, yeah, a special court for piracy. So when you pirate me, after two weeks, the case is settled. Next person will be afraid to pirate. Yeah, sure. But when we go to the uh, normal or conventional court, it takes 20 years. So the, the person the, is the producer must have even died. So that is the point. We have not been accepted. That is nothing, no enabling environment for us to do our work. The government have not accepted us. 2005, 2006, we did Nigerian film review policy. A lot of people that are in that committee are dead. Hmm. We have not seen the light of the day. I know uh, Barrister Ferrer, he's late. Um, uh, Amaki Way is late, and so many of them. Even the one of the emails, then he was a staff of uh, Nigeria Film Corporation. He was clearing the one of these Boko Haram something because he's from that area. Yeah. So most of my dad. And those things we try to do to bring this industry to accept us by the government. I remember I was, it was just me and Dele Odule that we are practicing actors. In that committee. In the committee. We have professors. Uh, most people died. dead. But government have not done anything to on accept them. these people. To accept it. So when you ask me my greatest challenge or regret, whatever, I don't normally regret things I do. Or let me put it challenge. Challenge. Non acceptance by those who are supposed to accept it. By those who are supposed to even encourage the upcomers. Let me tell you something. If you check film making, uh, film making nations, for instance, when you go to France, mm -hmm. you can't shoot a film without government putting something in your In your movie. Yes. That is why you cannot see a film from Grassard against the government. Yeah, because they support. Yes. But how they don't support you, you know what they do? And when you make a film, historical films, you go to censors, and so we remove all those things. Say, no, we are trying to incite. Either incite. religious or... Whatever. Uh, uh, History. The tribal distance. And you water the film. Is it not funny? Very funny. Yes. So that's why our children walk around without no history. No, but the, the government prefer 
the people at the, high, at the upstairs yes. recorded, they prefer to watch things that make them happy. Who is, who is against uh, BBA, Big Brother? Nobody. Yeah, because they like it. it. It's just something that is just... Yes. How many soaps or series do we have in Nigeria, Nigerian uh, NTA today? That talks about our history. Yeah, that that talks about our... A culture. Nothing. 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 So why would we sit and watch Big Brother and enjoy it? And our culture is dying. Uh, we we'll enjoy it. We have to enjoy it. And you are there telling me that you will desire. So that is the challenge. That is the annoying part of the whole thing. Acceptance. Now, last time, somebody stood up in the House of Friends and said, uh, Nollywood is encouraging uh, rituals. This, 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 this. What a shame. On the House of Assembly, the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. And they started talking about Nollywood and Hollywood. rituals. <laughs> Can you see? How do you think? So government acceptance is the problem we have. That's my problem, is it? That's a challenge. All right, thank you so much, sir. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. This is a brilliant and beautiful interview, and I believe you enjoyed it out there. And um, anything you think, just put down in the comment section below. Thank you, sir. I really do appreciate you. Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you, sir.